Team Sanders here in Des Moines say that it's uh, their team's momentum, Bernie's momentum in Iowa is due in no small part to the army of volunteers that Sanders has canvassing this state. So we sent our resident ace filmmaker and auteur, Griffin Hammond, out to the Hawkeye State headquarters of the Sanders campaign to meet a few of the foot soldiers in his ground game. Three weeks from now, very short period of time, February 1st, the eyes of the world and the eyes of this country will be on the state of Iowa. And I thank you, sir, for running for president, and I hope to hell you win. We've gone from a situation where most people in Iowa did not know who Bernie Sanders was, let alone what he stood for, to be in a position where I honestly believe we have, have a strong a chance real to win. Chance to win here in Iowa. Doors I've personally knocked on, I'm probably close to 300, and that's just in my area. Doors, this, this place is knocked on, I bet just in the tens of thousands. We, we've made over a million phone calls into the state already. Close to 15,000 people do at least one volunteer shift of some kind. If you look around, this room is full, and mm, so few of these people, all of these people, they are not paid. None of them is paid to be here. In, in this office, you're, you're seeing one 26. We have 25 other offices like this around the state. I don't think kids would have moved here from uh, all around the world. I came all the way from Greece to Iowa. Well, thank you ever so much. Thanks for coming. For many other candidates. Even though I live in a different country, I thought this guy could bring positive change in the world. I have you down as a Sanders supporter, and I'm just wondering whether... I'm calling ones in my own precinct and some uh, ones being supporters and some threes. I'm giving some who have gotten a lot of calls from a lot of campaigns. Others really are not committed yet, even this late in the game. Sometimes I call people and they're like, oh, we would like to vote for Bernie, but he's not going to make it. He doesn't have his chance. He's a good guy. But the thing is, if all of these people who say that Bernie Sanders does not have a, does not stand a chance, if they all showed up and caucused for him, then Bernie would win. How many people are going to join me on caucus night in support of Bernie? If everybody turns up that I talk to, Bernie will win. There's so much Bernie support out there. He has the momentum to feel, and again, this is like the Obama campaign, especially in the last closing weeks, where you can feel it, you can look at the crowds, you can just, just feel it in your bones. One of the things we said from the beginning that we have to do is we have to expand the definition of the person who goes to a caucus. Independents, Democrats that don't always go, maybe a few Republicans, and if we can keep expanding that, um, we, we, can, we can do very well on caucus night. At least over two-thirds of people I talk to have never been to a caucus before. Um, that's part of the thing is making them understand how important that is. First-time caucus goers, some of them really aren't clear as to what it is, how it works, understandably, or the time commitment. Um, it's not walking into a precinct uh, and casting a ballot and leaving. They have to make a commitment for an hour to two hours there. And sometimes that's difficult to make the case to people that they need to devote that much time. Educate them that it's not that difficult of a process. In fact, it's an easy process. Go to caucus, put a Bernie button on, Bernie sticker on, go stand with other Bernie Sanders supporters, get counted, make sure the count's correct. When they tell you the count's official, you can go home. I think in the last three weeks, we spend more time making sure that the committed understand where their caucus is and what time they should be there. February 1st, we will be going out on the streets, actually, you know, knocking on doors, telling people to come out and caucus. The point is, if we can win here in Iowa, if we can win here in New Hampshire, as I think we can, I think we have a path toward victory. Uh, I think it's been intense, and it's, uh, I sense a passion with this campaign, and um, I just sense a devotion that um, you don't always see. Time to pull off the biggest political upset in the modern history of America. Okay, so um, I ask...